Heavenly Father, I want to appreciate you. I want to thank you, give you praise, and ask that you back up your word this morning with signs and wonders following in the name of Jesus. I ask that the hearts be open, that the word may gain entrance into the hearts of men. Wonderful Holy Spirit, take absolute control of this meeting. I ask, Satan, I rebuke you. I bind you. And I command you to the abyss. Seize your operation this morning. I cage you wherever you are. I limit you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I say amen. amen. Tell the next person to you, say, please, you are a priest. Uh, say it like you meant it. Say, please, you are a priest. I didn't hear you well. Hallelujah. Amen. Revelation chapter 5, verse 10. And has made us unto our God, kings and priests. Kings and what? Priests. And we shall reign on the earth. Now my understanding of that scripture is that king and priest by reason of that ordination, that lifting to that height, we will reign on the earth. What does that mean? The earth is under our command. Praise God. Why? Because I am a king and the word of a king must be obeyed. And as a priest, I am the one that go between the dead and the living. I reconcile issues. Only me have the right to bust into the throne room of my father, staggering this way. He said, who is that disciple to Christ? Say, Baba, hold on. You know why I'm here? This and this and this and this and this and this. And because I'm a son, no angel has the right to deprive me from getting to that place. Praise God. And the Bible says I'm a king and a priest. But I'm talking about my priesthood authority and power this morning. And the Bible says, I was chosen for that appointment, for that position. The day I accepted Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, I was catapulted into that realm. As the one that can go between, go sort out issues and say, this is the way it should be. That is who God has made me. I don't know about you. Praise God. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. And he said, but ye are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. Royalty runs with me. I'm also a priest. Praise God. I am not an ordinary. I'm peculiar. I am uncommon. That is who I am. Praise God. And that I am here to show forth the praise of God. Listen, poverty does not show the praise of God. Evil does not show the praise of God. Sickness does not show the praise of God. The Bible says, I am a king and a priest. The Bible says, I am here, I am here to show. The word can show it. It's me that to show the praise of God. The praises of him who had called me out of darkness and into the marvelous light, the marvels of his light. I am called into it. Please, I want you to rethink and change your opinion and your thought and imagination about yourself. I have been called out of darkness where poverty dwell. I have been called out of darkness where poverty dwell. I have called out of darkness where sickness dwell, where evil dwell. Where failure dwell, and I'm called into the marvels, the marvelous light of God. Amen. That is what I'm called into. I'm not called into poverty. I'm not called into sorrow. I'm not so called into anguish. I'm not called into anything contrary. I am called into the marvelous light of God. And you know what? He made me a priest. Now, I want you to know, you are in the month where you have to manifest your priesthood the month of January. Is anybody with me? Man, I fear Raska this morning. I, listen to this. 
I'm in the month where I have to, to decide what this year will look like for me. I am in the month where I have to come to the room of God, the throne room, and sort out issues with God. And say, God, tell me how this year will be concerning my life and my children. Tell me how this year will be concerning my finances, concerning my ministry, concerning my destiny. I am in that month of priesthood where now the kingship is there, but this month is my month of priesthood. Hallelujah. Where I have to bust to heaven and negotiate issues, how it will be. Where issues must be settled. Issues must be settled. That is the month you are. Hallelujah. Can I say this? This month will settle what the other months will be. The way you handle this month will determine how the other months of the year will be in your life. So you better listen because it's the month that will determine your future. It is the month that will determine how you become whether this year will bring something good for you or not. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Leviticus. Leviticus. Chapter 14, verse 19. And the priest shall offer the sin offering and make an atonement for him that is to be pleased. Anyone that is to be cleansed, it is the priest that make an atonement. Are you hearing me? The, the person that is to be cleansed can't do it by himself. He takes the priest to do it for him, to cleanse him and make an atonement for him. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. And he said, for him that is to be cleansed and from his uncleanliness and afterward, he shall kill the burnt offering. Praise God. The next verse. And the priest shall offer the burnt offering and the meat offering upon the altar. And the priest shall make an atonement for him and he shall be cleansed. He take the priest to cleanse. He's the one that go between. He's the one to whose hand God will take what? Offering, sacrifices is through the priest. Hallelujah. Are you aware? And the Bible says you are a king and what? A priest. Please say like you made it. Say it again. Now I want you to look at Hebrews 4. Verse 16 please. First of all let's start from verse 14. Go with me from verse 15. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest who cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Now, the scripture there, the next verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. He said to me, I'm a king, I'm a priest. I don't need somebody to go for me. He said to me, come boldly. That is to say, as a born again child of God, I have access to the throne of my father. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. I have access to the throne of my father. And my father said, fear not, come boldly. Come, let's sort out issues. Come, let's discuss. Come, let's reason together. And this is the month that you and God must sit together and reason out issues. It's your month of revelation. It's your month that you must have an encounter with God. The month you are in, that is that month. 
Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. The first month of the year is so critical and strategic because it gives us the opportunity to maximize and determine the rest of the year. Gives us the opportunity to maximize and determine the rest of the year. This month, this month, he said, as you come, boldly. Come. There are things I may not know. He knows about them. Come. There are things this year is holding. I'm not aware of it. He knows about it. He said, come. There are things I do not know that the enemy is planning against me, against my family. But Baba in heaven, the Bible says, he's all knowing. He said, come. I know you know a little bit, but I am the all-knowing God. Come. Let me show you. Come. Let me tell you what their plans are. Come. And you'll be able to know the strategies and what the year holds for your life, for people of your blood. Praise God. Why we fast and pray at every beginning of new year. Why? Why we pray. Hallelujah. I say why we pray. Matthew 17, 21. Matthew 17, 21. How be it this kind? Go it not out but by prayer and fasting. Praise God. He said this kind. Go it not by, by what? That is to say, there are situations. There are what? Situations. That except fasting is added to it. You might not be able to do that. Or to gain entrance. To break through into that situation. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now look at Isaiah 58 verse 6. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? To lose the bands of the wickedness. No, what does that mean? Fasting is to lose the bands, the chains. Where the devil is holding you. By reason of fasting and prayer is broken. Yeah, whatever is holding you. This month we break. This month we break. I said, this not we break. Amen. To undo the heavy burdens. You have carried a burden for a very long time. But if that burden must be thrown out of your shoulder, out of your head, hey, honey, fasting is needed for it. To undo the heavy burdens. And to let the oppressed go free. Every area of oppression this month, by reason of fasting and prayer, you will go free. Those things your hand couldn't touch last year, as you go in this sanctified fasting, dedicate, dedicate yourself to it, and allow the principle of fasting as declared by the leadership of the church where you attend. Every shackle Every chain of limitation, every barrier, every power, which is wizard, they will lose their grip and hold over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Our fasting and prayer show our dependency on God. That, oh God, we are depending on you. If you don't help us, we are finished. Oh God, we are depending on you. That is what it means. God, I'm depending on you. Whatever God is not involved in, he is not committed to it. You want to commit God into this year concerning your life. Every aspect of your life this year, even those things that concern you. Friends, there must be a solid preparation. And those who refuse to prepare and expect him 
Manna from heaven. Listen. You have lost it. You lost it. This is a year for. It's a militant year. It's an aggressive year. That is the banner of this year for this vision. Militant and aggressive. If you refuse to be aggressive this year, you will remain in the spot. Demons are where their time is so short. And they are doing everything to make sure they stand against your future. They stand against the prophetic word over your life. They want to stand against your prosperity. They want to stand against your longevity. They want you to die before your time. But this month, this month, you will show them where they belong. In the name of Jesus Christ. One, why do we fast? Every, the beginning of every year, why do we take time to stay in the presence of God? To receive divine instructions. Wisdom and ideas needed to begin our year. You fast and pray to receive what? Divine ideas, wisdom. Amen. That is why your fast, your heart is tuned to the heavens. That God might give you instructions. That you might know what to do. Hallelujah. Habakkuk. Chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. He said, I will stand at my watch. Friends, this is a month that you and I must be watchful. You must stand at your watch. It's not the time of grig, 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 grig. No. It's not the time to run about for contract. For suing money. No. No. It's a month that you and I must stand where? At our watch. Are you with me? At where? Our watch. Amen. I say amen. It's a month where you and I must stand at our watch. You are watching. What are you watching? You are watching to know what he has to say. Lord, I have come. Uh, come on, let's go. No, 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 no. I'm watching. How many of you are aware? A man that is watching does not go far. He's attentive to know what his master will say. Praise God. You are watching. You are watching. You are watching to know what will drop down from heaven. You are watching. Praise God. To, to receive divine instruction, wisdom and ideas needed to begin the year and the next he said, I will stand at my watch. Verse 2. And the Lord answered me because I was standing up before. I mean, I was standing and watching to hear what God has to say. And remember, as I'm watching, God is aware I am watching. When God sees that I'm watching with all my heart, God will say something. God will not say something. When you say you are watching, your heart is filled with naira and dollars. God will not say something. When you say you are watching, you are, hey, that contract. No, uh, no. Those things become passive. What do I mean by passive? If they come, fine. If they don't come, fine. That is not what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? I'm watching. I'm what? I'm watching. Somebody say, I'm watching. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may re run that read it. That means God said prepare and write down because I want to tell you something. I want to reveal the hour you are in. I want to reveal what this year holds for you. What is my will for you this year? I want to reveal it. Therefore, this is the month that you and I must watch. Where are we watching? We are watching at the throne. 
watching what he has to say. You are looking at where he's seated. He's aware you are watching. He's aware you are looking out to know what he has to say to you this year. This year is not a year you take a decision by yourself. This is not the year you run scatteredly. This is not the year you run on your own wisdom. This is the year you must depend on God's wisdom. For many shall die this year. And many will die by mistake. Many will be caught by mistake. But God forbid. To receive divine instruction, wisdom and ideas. Number two, to receive clear revelation in taking crucial decision. You don't just, oh, let me invest this area. Let me do this. No! You must walk a line. Listen, there are things you call blessing. They are trap of the enemy. Only God will guide you so that you don't fall into that trap. People come out, I'm going to bless you, I'm going to do this. And he said, no, you must find out. Is this coming from God? There are many blessings. What looks like blessings that are trap of the devil. You must not allow it. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Israel. Israel. Chapter 8 verse 22 to 23. Quickly. Hallelujah. To receive clear revelation. Israel, Israel, A Z R O A. E Z R O A. Israel, chapter 8, verse 22 to 23. Also, of the Nathanims whom David and the princess had appointed for the service of the Levites. 200, that is verse what now? Verse 22, please. Is that person not hearing me well? 22 to 23, please. For I was ashamed to require of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy in the way because we have spoken unto the king, saying, The hand of our God is upon all them for good that seek him, but his power and his wrath is against all them that forsake him. Verse 23 now. So we fasted and besought our God for this and he was entreated of us. Praise God. They said, how do we go to ordinary man for help? We have told him about our God. Our God is all powerful. Our God is a miracle worker. Our God, that with him nothing shall be impossible. How should we go to him now? I'm ashamed to go and tell the unbelievers I need help from you. I'm ashamed to go and borrow money. When the Bible says he became poor that I might be rich. I'm ashamed. And what did they do? They decided to afflict themselves with fasting. And the Bible says and God had them. Somebody say and God had them. God will hear you. I say God will hear you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And God had them. As long as you come with all your heart. Your prayers will not go unanswered. I say your prayers will not go unanswered. Number three. To receive fresh grace. To tackle every devices of the devil. To receive what? Fresh grace. To tackle the devices of the devil. Luke chapter 4 verse 2. Luke chapter 4, verse 2. Being 40 days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. You know what happened? When the devil came, Jesus gave him a technical knockout. But in verse 14 of that scripture, we were told, he returned in the power. He returned in the power and his fame went abroad. You know why? He sat and waited for God and God loaded him with power, with grace. And when the devil came to tempt him, he gave him a technical knockout. Why? He was prepared. And the Bible says, when he came out of the temptation, we were told, 
he came out in the power of the Spirit of God. And his fame, where he was not known, he, he, he became known. Where he was not known, people are not aware of his existence. The Bible says, because he paid the price, he has stayed with God, there was an announcement of him. This year you will be announced. Listen, as you make yourself a child of God, whose heart is ready this year to do work with God. God, as you faithfully from your heart do this assignment, this, this, this month and give yourself to fasting and prayer as you will be declared. Listen to me. You will be announced. I say you will be announced. Shout hallelujah. I say you will be announced. Please tell your neighbor God will announce you this year. Say it like you mean it. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. As you stay in the presence of God, as you fast, the Bible says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Listen. As you fast and pray, you will develop your spiritual muscles. You become strong in God. You know why? Because as you stay in his presence, as you fast and study the word and pray, knowledge about who your God is will be poured into your spirit. He said, with him, nothing shall be impossible. You begin to look things that frighten you before as toys. You begin to discover, but why have I been on this line throughout this? Oh no, I didn't know. You begin to discover that you are not as small as you think. You know why? It's because you have sat with him. You have discovered the size of your God. That your God is bigger than every other God. That your God is bigger than your situation. That your God has done miracles bigger than what you are asking God for. Now you can believe him for the impossible. Why? Because you have been able to size up God accurately and perfectly as he is. Why? Because you have stayed in his presence. You have fasted and stayed with him. Your knowledge about him that was but was pigmatic becomes enlarged. You say now, I can look at cripple, he will walk. Listen, your imagination about him will change. Can I tell you? Listen, your thought and imagination has a lot to do with the level of miracle you carry. Are you hearing me? God will change what your, I mean, what is in your soul. All those evil thoughts and imagination. All those limited imaginations in you will be reversed. You will begin to see. Listen, where you are seated here today, this building was inside a man before it was delivered. Praise God. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. If you can think it, it's possible. And the Bible says, the people are one. And this they began to do. Why? They are taught. We want to build Babel. We want to get to where God is so that we talk to him. And God said, listen, oh, they have imagined this. Nothing will restrict them except I do something urgently. Praise God. Now listen, some of you, the picture you have about yourself is negative. Let's stop calling the devil. The picture you have about yourself is negative. That is why when you come to a great man of God who have understanding of the mystery of the kingdom, one of the first things he wants to do is to change your inner picture. Right. Praise God. Because it doesn't matter. Listen, you know, the foolishness of many of us believers is that we think because they call their name. Ah, this man of God is a very great man of God. He's so much great oh, and great and great. But you will go there. He will peel the hair on your head. And all of them will fall out. Yet no miracle. You know what? Until it is in you, it cannot be called out. Oh, yes. oh you didn't hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Listen, until it is in you, 
it cannot be called out. I know I can never be poor. Are you hearing me? Because what I see inside me has gotten, got nothing to do with poverty. And the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. So, what do you want me to be? To be what I'm not thinking? Praise God. Do you know why the devil pumps the thought of immorality into you? Is to make sure he grants your destiny. He wants you to take a step. He wants to paint a picture in your mind. All is to destroy you. Now listen. In everything that has positive has negative. So change your opinion about yourself. Change what? Your opinion about yourself. I cannot be small. I am great. I see myself great. I see myself standing before thousands. I see myself riding one of the best cars as I will. I see myself doing those things. Living where I think I, I, my standard I should live. Until you are pregnant of those things. And the only way you can be pregnant about them is to sit with him. And let the Holy Spirit paint that picture in your mind. And the, that picture, it can only be painted as you stay in his presence. As you commune with him, he will begin to draw the picture into your mind. Hey, Jacob said, my name is Jacob. He said, but originally, that was not what your name is. Your name is Israel. Because when I look into the computer in heaven, and I press your password. What I discover is Israel. What you are now is not what he, told, he said you are to be on the earth. Listen, you are someone, but you might be wearing the look of another. Did you hear what I said? You are somebody. At times you feel it. At times you know this is not where I'm supposed to be. Are you hearing me? But the problem is that you want to help yourself. Listen. Except the Lord builds a house, the labor in vain. This is the month of your priesthood. This is the month for you to step into the house of God and say, Baba, what does it this year have for me? As God revealed the year to you, you change your thought. You change your imagination. You begin to think what God thinks about you until you come to the realm. When you think of how God thinks about you, listen to me. You will remain the way you are in 2023. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Amen. I say amen. Now, this is the month. The reason you fast and stay in the presence of God in the month of January. To plant seed into the womb of the year. The year I told you on Thursday has a womb. And this is the time to plant seed into the womb of the year. This is the time you make prophetic declaration based on your relationship with God and understanding he has given to you about yourself. This is the time to begin to make a declaration. Make a declaration. Make a declaration. Make a declaration. And you are declaring based on what you receive from the Father. It's your month. In Psalm 110, he said the womb of the morning. And the, the, I'm telling you, if they have the womb of the morning, there's the womb of the year. That is when you're planting. Why do we fast? Why do we pray? And, uh, to reason with God and strengthen issues. To reason with God. And to strengthen issues. There are issues clogged in your life that needed to be strengthened out with him. This is the month to strengthen those things. There are mistakes you made last year. As you sit in his presence, he will reveal to you what those mistakes are. He will reveal to you the powers that attacked you from your foundation. He will reveal to you where the enemy that attacked you last year, where they came from. Praise God. That is the reason. We stay 
This month is your priesthood month. It's the month where you stand in the office of a priest. And only the priest can go into the Holy of Holies. And because you are a priest, he said, come boldly to the throne of grace. That you might receive instructions. That you might be empowered. That you might be endowed. That you might have knowledge about what tomorrow holds for you. Hallelujah. Until you have that knowledge, you may not be able to shoot accurately. Hallelujah. Isaiah 43. Amen. Verse 26. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. The other Bible said, let us reason together. Come. It's the month you reason with God. God is calling you, calling me. Hey, last year is past. The agenda is over. Another year has come. Come, let us reason together. There is something we have to talk. There is something you have to know about the year ahead of you. Because all the years are not the same. This one is peculiar. There's something you have to know. Yes, if you run the way you ran last year, you will break leg. Come, let me show you the level and the dimension you are meant to operate for you to fit in in the days and in the hours ahead. Come, it can only come from me. You don't know it. I am all knowing. I am God. The year I have crowned the year with goodness. I have crowned the year with drops of fatness. But how do I get into this? Only God can give you direction. Only God can order your steps. The Bible says the step of the righteous. Who is the righteous? The man operating according to God's pattern. According to the will and the directions of God. Hallelujah. He said, come, let us reason together. Put me in remembrance. You know what he's telling you? Come and tell me what I said to you before you started this journey. Come. Baba, you told me to go to America. And I'm in America. And you said to me, in this land, it's going to bless me. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. He will say, yes, I did. Right. He said, but now, another year has come. I am waiting for some of the promises you made to come to pass. He said, listen. Let me show you where you are. This is where you are. Now this is the area. This is the idea you must apply. You've been praying for one hour. It's time to pray for two and a half hours. He to give you instructions. Because he gave the vision. He will give the direction. Are you hearing me? He will let you know how to order your steps in the place of prayer. And people will say, Sister has changed. Brother has changed. I don't know him this way. Why is he behaving this way? No. Something has happened to him. He has stayed with his father. He has had an instruction. He said, God said, Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Lord. <laughs> Something happened. You shall die and not leave. He turned, to the, he turned his back to the prophet and faced the world. Say, God, remember. I have served you with a perfect heart. I have walked in your ways. God, and while the prophet was going out, he had, God had his shoulder. Go back to my servant, your prophet. I tell him, I've heard his cry. I have seen his tears. Tell him, I am God. I reverse the issue. He will live and not die. What did he say? He said, I have seen. He sees. That prayer, that fasting you are making, that fasting declared that you took seriously and paid the price to stay in the presence of God. God says, I see it. That night watch, you are not sleeping well because you are set apart this month to be in the presence of God. He said, I have seen it. I have seen it. He said, tell him. 
I will add many more years. I change what I have said. Now I will bless him. And God said, in case he did not trust me enough, I will cause the son to change his pattern of operation for the first time. Because he had touched my heart. I have seen his heart. I have seen his tears. He has come before me. He has cried before me. Let me tell you, one of the ways and prayer that God does not take for granted is prayer that is associated with tears. He said, your tears are in a cup reserved by God on the throne. Friends, we are in the month where we have to cry and say, God, change my level, change my situation. Others may die, minus me and my children. Others may knock and jam, minus me. I'm your child. God, arise for me. God, arise for me. Hallelujah. He said, thy first father had sinned. Not you. Ah, in reasoning, he said, your first father have sinned. And thy teachers have transgressed against me. Therefore, I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary and I've given Jacob to the cause and Israel to reproaches. He was revealing in the course of reasoning together, in the course of communing together. Listen, you, did, you may not know the secret of your father's house. You may not know the secret that I've heard your lineage. Listen, there are revelations that will not come except with a hard cry. Are you hearing me? There are many of you sitting here looking at me. There are things hooking your leg. The only way it can be hooked up is that God sees your heart and a cry that comes before the throne. A ceaseless cry. A cry that is accompanied with fasting. Oh God, change this thing. My fathers have sinned. I repent of their sins. My teachers have sinned. Let the reproaches that goes with this by the blood of Jesus, let it be raised out of my life. Only God knows the sins of your fathers. Only God will give you, when we talk about prayer, except God leads you in prayer, you may pray wrongly. Except God leads you in prayer, you may be shooting here, your enemy is here. It's time to go to God. It's seventh day of the year. It's time to go back and cubate in the presence of God and ask God, here am I. Here am I. It's time to change the handwriting. It's time to change issues. It's time you are staying with God so that you will receive from him and make the right prophecy. Hear me. Ezekiel 37, verse 7. Ezekiel 37, verse 7. So I prophesied. Somebody say, so I prayed. Somebody say, so I prophesied. As I was commanded. And as I prayed. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. And behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to his bone. As you stay in the presence of God in fasting and in prayer and receive the word from the Lord. And as you make declaration of those words to the hearing of the earth, to the hearing of demons, to the hearing of angels, listen to me. It shall become as God has said it. He sent at his word, his word he led them. The word of God is a messenger. The word of God is a personality. The word of God knows no impossibility. What word are you receiving from God this year concerning your life by your head? Talk to God. Talk to God. In 
Jesus name stand up I want to say to you if you are not born again you are here this morning I want to pray with you you are saying I'm not born again I want to receive Christ as my personal Lord and Savior I want to see your hand up and I'll pray with you right away you know you are not born again now that's right now I stand at the general overseer of this ministry I declare 14 days fasting starting from tomorrow we have finished our 14 days in December which many of you handled haphazardly but this month of January month of priesthood month you must stand as a priest and make declaration and plant into the womb of the year I declare fasting in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit the grace to fast receive it every one of you the grace to fast receive it in the name of Jesus the grace to fast receive it in the name of Jesus have you said and so have I declared every power now I want to every cobweb power that will steer up your foundation to make you feel too hungry and what is all this I command that power to be under chains and fetters. I break down the power of hell. You will run this year. I see multi-millionaires coming up among you. Men counting in millions, hundreds of millions coming among you. Praise God. Amen. Just one of you this morning. I'm going to wave my hand where you are. There's a miracle you are going to catch. And God said that you release it and it shall be yours. And the only way we know, the power will hit you where you are. In the name of just stretch your hand. Stretch your hand. It's not going to take any minute. Father, I have preached your word and I prayed for them. Leave him. Thank you. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. And the power is present. Yeah. Start from there. Start from there. It's your year of honor. Believe it, it shall be so. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you and preserve you. You will hear of evil, it shall never come near you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands together as you receive your resident pastor.